beautiful people. Welcome to Nick Knack's Corner. I'm Nick, wearing my wizarding robe, and I'm in a corner. Today I'm going to talk to you about the book, Jennifer Government by Max Berry. This is a crazy story about capitalism in the most extreme sense possible. Um, everyone's surname is given to them from the corporation they work for. Uh, the government has been privatized and we have a large cast of characters of like Hack Nike, Jennifer Government, Billy NRA, Holly, Claire, Max, um, Kate and Violet. I can't remember all the last names. It's been a while since I read the book. Um, but there is a lot of, it's a very colorful cast of people across the entire world. Um, it's been privatized and taxes have gone the way of dinosaurs. Um, it's a dystopian future with, uh, that's about economic globalization. Essentially, all the corporations in the world are now your little mini governments. You work for them, they take care of you. Uh, the big government is uh, that Jennifer works for. Um, she's a government worker. Uh, her job is basically to do checks and balances for all these corporations. Um, and they have to go out and do a lot of legwork, fundraise money for their jobs so they can keep a job. And uh, they are constantly having a lot of pushback because corporations have so much money that they can just buy off people or make things very difficult for you um, and uh, also in this story we get the release of Nike's uh, new sneakers that cost about $2,000, $2,500 and they get sold out in a flash uh, mostly because there is a mall shooting and stuff like that and causes like oh no people are killing people for these shoes so get out and buy them because there's only so many um it's fantastic it really is uh it's a fantastic book it's a thriller it's a little bit of satire comedy you will really enjoy it it leaves you wanting more uh it reminded me a lot of george orwell's 1984 only in my mind better uh, I like 1984 and it's very influential, but it's not modern, not written with modern language, and so nowadays it could be kind of hard to feast on that book and absorb it, where this is a very modernized version of what the future may look like. And the thing is about 1984 is that's what today looks like, and who's to say in the future? It won't look like this and that's a very scary thought um this book is also just like you'll find yourself laughing at times because it's got some like really great humor max berry is a fantastic author um the pacing is perfect like the book never slows down it's just like tch, 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 tch. it keeps going it's fantastic um his voice was something that I am excited to read more Max Berry. Um, if you know any other Max Berry books, let me know if you recommend them. I would really love to pick up more of his stuff because he is quite interesting. Um, very intelligent, smart book. It's very fun. Um, and also, if you like dystopian stuff, like it's just it's right up your alley. I like dystopian, so that's something for me. Um, I gave it like a four and a half out of five on Goodreads, and um, I would say I would keep it about that. So I rounded it up to five because four and a half. Um, go and read this book; it's fantastic. You'll love it. It's easy. It's enjoyable. I'm not going to go too deep into this because it's not a long book, so this isn't going to be a long video. In conclusion, I hope the world never goes down this path because it's a scary path to think about. And I like my last name. I'd rather be a Rudolph than 
Well, Indigo is a pretty cool name. <laughs> um, but I'd rather be Rudolph still. My own individuality. Um, a scary and a neat premises and Max brought us a great story that I think is something that should be explained, explored a lot more. Not explained, explored. Anyway, folks, that'll be all for my video today. Nice and short and sweet. Um, my Goodreads, Tumblr, and Instagram will be down below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please share. Uh, if you guys want to tell me some of your favorite fiction novels, I would love to pick up a couple and read them. Uh, think of something around 400 pages or less, and uh, I'll add it to my list and review it here on the channel. Uh, just put it in the comments below, and I'll make sure that I uh, get around to checking it out for you. Thank you all very much for coming by, and have yourselves a wonderful day.